What are we gonna go do today, guys? Um, we're gonna get some ducks. You too. Well, we are all getting in the car because we're getting some ducks. And here's where we're getting them. See that house right over there? <laughs> Those are our neighbors. And uh, their health is such that they feel like they can't really have as many animals as they have. So last night we got some animals from them. And we'll show you in a few minutes. But first, we're going back, going back this morning to go get these six ducks. All right, meet you over there. So if you're wondering why we have to drive just to get to our neighbors, it's because we're going to use the truck to hold the ducks so that we can bring all six. Yeah. Six of them home. Otherwise, we could have just walked. But we want to bring the ducks home. So. Emmy, should we go get the ducks? Do you still playing with your bug? Are you excited? Do you hear those cute duckies? Do you want to try and get one? Do you want to get one? Show Lizzie how to open the door. Hi, duckies! Oh, they are so pretty. A little bit smaller, the runners are a little smaller. They're a little easier to catch, I think, because they're, they're they sort of stand up. Oh, that's one. There you go. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that freckle. Oh, so cute. Hi. These are Cayugas. Okay, let's okay. pass one to Alex or Lizzie. And this is a, what's it called, Chinese runner? Or? Um, fawn and white runner, runner. I think it's official. Okay, Everett, come out here so that we can get ready to put him in the car. I think it's a girl. They do have toenails on their feet, so. Aww. Cute little guy. Hi, buddy. Hey, that one. Smiling. Okay, yeah, we'll give this smiling. one to somebody else then. Right. Oh, Daddy, I want to and I'm okay. Banjo, look. Sort of, you know, Daddy's got one. On you have to hold its wings. <laughs> look, it's trying to swim. And that's easy. <laughs> Should we take him to the car over it? Oh, you're a boy. Well, no. Now here. Daddy. Right there, there was like a little bit of. We're going to the car and we're putting them in the car. Here's where we're going. That's why we're going in the shade. And. Now we're in the shade. Now we're going out of the gate. Here's the car and we're gonna put the drops in. Are you excited, guys? Yep, we're excited. Well, we're all gonna hold them in the car in our laps because we didn't bring a box. Yeah. I thought I did. So we're just gonna yeah. hold them all on our laps and we don't yeah. have very far to go anyway. Just yeah. over the fence. And this is I named this little girl and black fat. <laughs> Hi, Dad! I named this girl <laughs> Mel. <laughs> and her is gold like them. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, she's okay. <laughs> oh, Alright, well, I guess we'll get them into the pond. Thank you! <laughs> Okay, 
okay. And here we are, almost home already. <laughs> that took so long. <laughs> yeah. Meet Donald Trump. Is that what you named it? Yep, because he has weird hair. <laughs> That's so awesome. And it's like Donald Trump. He does look like Donald Hi, Trump. Donald Trump. That is some weird hair, Donald. <laughs> all right, should we go stick them in the? Did we already get the other ones, or are all six of them right here? There's three of them are already in the pond. And oh, loved it. Yay! We're gonna go bring Belle. Should we bring Belle? Banjo named her. You can tell she's Belle because she has freckles on her bill. She is a cute duck. Hi, sweetie. All right, let's go put them with the others. Okay. Hey, we're here. And we'll just, they're good flyers, so we'll just let them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yay. 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 I want to swim with Bill. These ducks will be very happy. We've got lots of bugs, lots of grass, and we'll supplement them with with the grain. Yeah, we'll try to feed them as naturally as possible. They'll eat plenty of worms and grubs from the garden as soon as we can introduce them out there. We think that this thing here, this old stock tank, I think that'll make a great little shelter for them. We, now we have to actually fence off this area to protect them from predators. <laughs> okay, we better show them where home is. Okay, they don't know where home is yet, so we've got to keep them near the pond while we get the fencing set up. <laughs> Granted, we should have done that before we got them here, but I kind of thought they would stay in the pond. Okay, let's keep them in the pond and I'll go get the fence. This is fun. So, why are we getting ducks? Okay, first of all, these are great for laying eggs. They're great layers, these two breeds. Another reason we like ducks is... They're cute. They're cute, yeah. Um, I grew up with ducks. I love the love the sound of them, especially in the wintertime. I don't know, there's just something magical about having ducks. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Well, it's not a huge pond yet, but uh, maybe we can get the backhoe fixed and dig it bigger. I want to get a solar panel and power a pump to make a waterfall. <sighs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Uh-oh. So I'm looking at these other animals, but again, I want to show you yet. You've got to hold on a second. But first we've got to grab this fence. It's made for poultry, but we're going to put it around the ducks just to keep them in, keep predators out. I think having the pond around will keep them plenty safe as well. Right now we're using it as temporary fencing around the uh, orchard, but we'll have to use it for the ducks for now.
All right, well, I had to mow the tall, kind of weedy grass around here so that I could get this fence to touch the ground. I trust this for the daytime, but at nighttime, I'd still like to lock them up, keep them safe from skunks and raccoons and all kinds of other little predators that come around here. But the ducks have found shelter <laughs> temporarily under the out of commission backhoe, kind of funny. But at least they know now where to find water and I'm going to provide a little pile of food for them, show them where that is so that they can uh, take care of themselves. But now comes the time where I'm going to show you the other new arrivals on our homestead. Okay, I'll meet you out there. All right, we're here at the chicken coop slash milking barn. Chickens are free ranging and over here with Hammy are our new friends. Okay, you ready? We got turkeys. They're very young turkeys. They were born this spring. And these are also from our neighbor. Um, you know, she's just downsizing. Hey, Hammy. Oh, you made a mess out here. I love that sound. <laughs> so this is a heritage breed of turkey. These guys are, hey, Hammy. Dusty. These guys are good at laying and breeding on their own. We feel like they were a good deal. They were twice as much as, as chicks cost. Chick, turkey chicks are a little bit expensive, about $12.50. So we paid $25 for them. I think that was a fantastic deal, considering that they've already been fed and grown out for the first season. And uh, they're not quite adults yet. Not quite to breeding age, hey guys. But uh, <laughs> look at him. This is the Tom and we've got two hens. And they are not quite familiar with me enough to be friendly. But our sweet neighbor has raised them <laughs> by hand. And uh, they're actually quite friendly. Look at those expressive eyes. Beautiful creatures. Uh, they appear to be either hot or thirsty. <laughs> Hi again. Hi, sweetie. Don't bite me, King. Okay? Don't bite. <laughs> Hi. She's really a sweetheart. So, sorry we haven't shown our animals very much. We kind of just have been focusing a lot on the changes in the homestead, and we sort of forgot to show the things that are part of our everyday routine. And uh, actually the, oh, careful. <laughs> One of the most important part of our, parts of our homestead is definitely the animals. Oh, careful. But uh, all is well with all of them. Buttercup and Hammy and the chickens doing fine. They're a sweetheart. <laughs> so I've got a new subject for painting too. <laughs> Animals don't really model very well. They don't hold still, regardless of what I pay them. So I think more often than not, I'll have to work from photos, which isn't my absolute favorite way to work. But I am very excited to have my own turkeys to paint. And I want to paint all of the animals more often. So we're excited about the animals that we've added to our homestead today. We're so excited to have ducks and turkeys, and we'll work in the next week or two on getting them in a, into a more permanent home, preferably right next to the house. In fact, we'd like to move all of the animals close to the house. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>